This segment is brought to you by Premier Barter Exchange, where you connect, network, trade, and grow. Joining me here in the studio today is Lori Davis, MA counselor, a relationship specialist. She has a master's in clinical psychology, and her phone number is 704-999-1781. That's 704-999-1781. Her website is www.lorianndavis.com, L-O-R-I-A-N-N, davis.com. Lori is our relationship specialist, and she's here to provide us wonderful information. What do you have for us today, Lori? Today, we are going to talk to people who are single, and we're going to talk about what you need to know before your next date. What you need to know before your next date. Yes. So there's stuff that people need to know. Yes. A lot of stuff, but we're going to cover just a tiny little section today. We can't just wing it? No. No. Why not? Isn't that part of the uh, spontaneity that people talk about? Just go into it blind with no plan, no purpose. And uh, I guess what a lot of people do, drink your way to relationship success. Oh, yeah, because that works. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, yeah. if it no, worked, no. you probably aren't listening and you probably aren't asking for advice, right? That, that, that is true. That is true. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So... <laughs> So we're going to talk a little bit today about men and women's roles. You know, it used to be not all that long ago that they were very clear roles. Mm -hmm. And it's wonderful now that men and women are equal. And I think that's great. Mm -hmm. When we're dating, though, that those blurred roles has created some difficulties in dating. Mm -hmm. Um, Masculine and feminine energy, and we all have both of that, but... Generally speaking, women primar- their primary way is more feminine energy. It's more of that emotions and feeling and receiving energy. Um, and men tend to have, as they're at their core, more masculine energy. It's the problem mm-hmm. solving, the pursuing, the, the going out there and doing. It's more um, assertive energy. Okay. Not aggressive, assertive. Assertive. Energy. That's a good distinction. Being proactive. Being proactive, Versus yes. reactive. So okay. what happens is that men and women are, those roles are blurred. You know, women during the workforce or out in the workforce, they're wearing the, that masculine energy hat. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. They're out there doing the same things the guys are doing. That's right. And because of that, men have taken on some more of the sometimes child care and relationships. And so they sometimes have more of that feminine energy roles that they're taking on, too. Mm-hmm. Well, what happens is it's the polarity between the masculine and feminine energy, those differences that causes the spark, the attraction. It's what we're attracted to in the opposite sex when we're out there dating and when we're married too, but that's a different discussion. Okay. That's okay. how we keep the passion going in our relationship. So we okay. can talk about that okay. a different time. Okay. So when so we need that. We need those differences. And when we're out there dating, ladies need to be able to take off the masculine energy hat for a while. And they need to get that feminine energy going. Because that's what the guys are attracted to. You know, we've been taught sometimes, I think, as women, that we need to look right, right? Mm -hmm. And I still want you to go out looking your best, Mm -hmm. but that we need to be sexy. We need to dress just right. We need to maybe tell the guy how smart we are, how independent we are. And all of those have their place. But ladies, that's not what the guy's going to be attracted to. That's not, initially maybe, that's not what keeps him coming back. That's not what gets him to call you for the second, the third, the fourth date and gets him pursuing you. It's that fe- that feminine energy. It's that heart connection mm. that he needs to feel attracted to. So before you go out there on those dates, that's how you need to go out there. You need to have that feminine energy in place. You need to have that strong core Mm-hmm. You know, that confidence, because men are attracted to confidence, and women are in men too. So we need that confidence, but it needs to look different for men and women. For women, that confidence needs to come across softer, um, more receptive. They need to give the guys a chance to pursue them. Mm. So many women are out there, and they're taking charge of the date, of the meeting. They're pursuing. It doesn't allow the guy to show up and be the guy. And the guy needs to show up. He needs to show up and do the pursuing. 
Does that make sense? It does, except for the He's guy on his face. that is looking for that woman who's hardworking, makes a plenty money, mm-hmm. has great credit. Yes. Has their own house mm-hmm. with the pool. Yeah. So now as the guy, right. we can sit by the pool all day. Uh, and do nothing? With the remote control in one hand and the lemonade in the other hand. Okay. We're going to talk about that in another segment that we're doing. Okay. We're going to talk about that's the guy you don't want to give your energy to. Oh, you don't? No. So, so that's not a good guy. So we're guy not looking to, for him. You're not looking for him? No. <laughs> the, the cabana guy? Absolutely no. not. We're going to go through, actually, okay. another week. Guys, you don't <laughs> want. He would be one of them. He would be one of them. Yes. Okay. The, the freeloader yes. type yes. guy. Yes. Okay. So I want the ladies before their next date to go out there as with that strong core and confidence, but being feminine and allow the guy to be the guy and allow him to pursue. And I want the guys to go out there and pursue those ladies. Call them, ask them for the next date, plan the date, be the guy in the relationship because it is a time when being equal and acting the same doesn't work. You know, guys, you do, guys don't want to date Another guy dressed in ladies' clothes. At least not the ones we're talking yeah, about. Okay. Not the majority. Not the majority of them. Okay, okay. And, and women right. with the same thing. <laughs> you know, we want the opposite of what we are. That's what we're attracted to. Okay. So that's what we need to do before we head out for that next date. So be confident. Be confident. But be a lady. But be a lady. And be a gentleman. And be a gentleman. Allow the guy to pursue Uh because as guys, we have that hunter-type mentality. You do, and you appreciate more what you have to hunt and work for. Mm. Like the caveman where we're pulling the woman behind with their hair. You were doing good till you got to the pulling the the hair part. Yeah, nah, no. But some women like pulling the hair. I'm just letting you. Okay. Well, some, once they're in a relationship, okay. whatever works for them is really great. Pulling the hair works yeah, if, but if, if they're into that. If that's what they're into. Okay. But that's probably okay. not how you want to go out <laughs> attracting your ideal man. Oh, so you just, right off the gate, you don't go and start probably yanking the not. hair. Not that's if probably. you're looking for that unstoppable, long-term, happy relationship. Mm, especially when the hair just comes off very easily. <laughs> That, that could be another issue. Yeah, if it's not attached right? too good. Yeah. Not, yeah, okay. Yeah, no. But then I guess that could be, well, it, th- th- does that now tie into the, the fakeness that sometimes women bring to the table? Because they have yes. the fake hair and the fake nails and the fake contacts and the fake this and the fake that, yes. how does a guy know what he's really getting? Yeah, you need to go out there and be yourself. Mm. You know, you really do. You need to be who you are. Um, One of the things I will do is if someone is on the dating sites and they're struggling is I will help them in an individual session actually create a profile that Mm. presents themselves more as who they are and that will help them get the kind of guy they're looking for. That's one of the services I offer. Okay. And one of the things I tell people is, yes, you need to present who you are. Mm-hmm. Because I've heard a lot of guys complain about that's who right. shows up on that date is not what mm-hmm. they thought. And that's you're wasting your time. You're wasting their time. You're not going to get a second date that way. I've actually had guys tell me that they've walked out on the first date because of that. Really? Yes. The pictures were 15 years old. Wow. 25 pounds lighter. Um, <laughs> not accurate at all. No. Really? Yes. We need to be confident in who we are. Who you are is wonderful. And remembering that. What's going to get that guy to want to be with you more than just one date or two dates is not the fake nails, the fake hair, how much you weigh, what you look like. It's who you are. It's the Mm. person inside. It's your confidence. It's how you treat them. When you're treating them with respect and you're interested in what they have to say and you're a partner that they want, that's who they're going to be attracted to. It doesn't have to do with what you look like. Mm. So you want to be yourself. And obviously you want to be the best you you can be, mm. you know. Um, and also don't tell them every single thing that's great about you in day yeah. one either. In day you know, one. You, you know, hold some of that spread back. Spread it out. Yeah, spread okay. it out a little. Yeah. Uh, how yeah, how great you are. It's too pushy, you know? Okay. Hmm. So if you're the nutty professor, then you need to be real with that and let people yes. know that you're the nutty professor. Because there's the perfect person out there for you who's going to think that's mm-hmm. wonderful and that's the guy or the lady, if it's vice versa, mm-hmm. that you want to attract. Absolutely. So, 
Lori, you're so wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. So are you. <laughs> Family, we're here talking to Lori Davis. Uh, she is the relationship specialist. She has a master's in clinical psychology, and you definitely want to give her a call at 704-999-1781. That's 704-999-1781. And check out her website at www.lauriannedavis.com, L-O-R-I-A-N-N-D-A-V-I-S.com. And it has wonderful specials and promotions and Wonderful things as it relates to education, information, inspiration, blog sites, social media sites, and all the wonderful workshops that she has. Thank you again, Lori, for being here with us. Thank you.